Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth episode of the Dead Stock Files. Today we have one of my personal favorites, the Nike Dunk Low Haze in two variations. Getting my hands on the bottom pair was next to impossible, but I have some of the craziest friends that love sneakers as much as I do, so we made it happen. These were designed by Eric Hayes, New York based graffiti artist. He's a very successful graphic designer and art director. We have the Quick Strike version and the Hyper Strike version in hand today. One is significantly rarer than the other. These were released on July 15th in 2003. There were 5,000 Quick Strike pairs released to the public and 500 Hyper Strike pairs released to friends and family. This is the high top version. They have similar release numbers to the low tops. Those had the black and white overspray effect inverted. And here we have the tongue and insole for both versions. Hayes logo on the Hyper Strike and Nike logo on the Quick Strike. I wanted to show you guys the orange box from the public release version. This orange box used to be a lot easier to find. It seems people are holding their pairs and the market value has skyrocketed. It's rare they even find a box in this condition from 2003. Next up we have the special box from the Hyper Strike version. This was one of Mr. Hayes' favorite parts of the collaboration with Nike was designing the box. It's rumored that out of the 500 special boxes, 250 came out of Mr. Hayes' warehouse. And here's where it gets good guys. The 250 that came from his warehouse were personalized with this black and white size label sticker. That means that this pair with the size label makes it one of the rarest of them all. So that's a nice little detail from one of these uh, Hyper Strike pairs. There's 500 in total and only 250 of them had that sticker. So here's a better look of the Hyper Strike. This rare version was released at well-known shops like the A-Life Rivington Club in New York City, Undefeated in Los Angeles, and of course, the Hayes store in Tokyo. So the overspray effect that you can see along the upper of the sneaker was newly developed in 2003. That's when Nike approached Eric Hayes for this project. It was one of the earliest recorded collaborations for Nike. So we can safely say that Eric paved the way for future streetwear collaborations, if you will. The tongue proudly wears that Eric Hayes graffiti tag in the white on black embroidery. That's one of the main differences between the two versions. And I'll show you the insoles as well. It's got that soft black fabric. Uh, they do have a printed version of the Hayes logo in there as well. Very, very clean construction all around the shoe. We can really see some of the grain from the high quality leather used on this dunk. The stitching changes color depending on which part of the gradient it's on. That's just a small detail that's often overlooked. A simple change of the thread color made that overspray effect perfect on this shoe. But if you just look at it once without really noticing any of that, it looks like a spray painted sneaker, which I totally understand. That's how I felt the first time I saw it too. <laughs> Literally every panel of the sneaker is dressed in this overspray effect, which is just awesome. The white laces, and of course that main event toe box that fades from black to white and then goes off to the white tongue. is just executed perfectly. I still remember my first pair of Hayes Dunks. They were gifted to me by a good friend. Shout out to Matt for putting me on with this awesome pair of sneakers. I still wear them all the time. This is the quick strike version. At first glance, you can't really see too many differences. We're gonna do a quick 360 of the shoe and kind of give you an idea of what the public release pair looks like. One of the biggest differences to me when I have them in hand is the overspray effect is not as large. So it looks like the black is a bit closer to the edge of the panels. And I'll show you what I mean a little later. On the insole, you have the Nike Air just printed on that same black fabric. This is a dead stock pair of the general release version. So I wanted to show that untouched Nike logo on the insole. And here we have on the left, the Hyper Strike and on the right, the Quick Strike. You can really see the difference in that overspray effect for both. And of course, your different logos on the tongue and the insole. This looks to be a repeated clip from the beginning of the video. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying my best here. This is the back of the 
quick strike and hyper strike there's really not much of a difference there but this is the main difference look at the toe box here's the hyper strike pair i know you see those nines down there this is a sample tag this is a quick strike tag they were both size 11 which made this comparison perfect as far as values go i'd say the hyper strike pair is worth around eight to ten thousand with the quick strike pair being around a thousand to fifteen hundred that's it for assuming new condition for both thanks everyone for sticking around to the end making these videos takes weeks at a time for research and editing and filming so really appreciate you guys stopping in and checking them out i do have a day of the dead review that i'm working on that i think you guys are really gonna enjoy check my instagram for updates until then peace out